what is up everybody welcome back to queen sims world this is a new type of video for me so i have never ever really been confident in my building or renovation skills but your girl been practicing a little bit so i decided to go ahead and record myself doing a little apartment reno uh, i started before i hit record because originally i wasn't going to do anything to this apartment because there was a sim that i just moved in just to have there to fill up the world and then i decided to actually play with the sim and so I said, hey, why don't I give her a little bit of a backstory um, and let's start off by giving her a little bit of a home renovation. So I do apologize. Um, I don't have um, any lights <laughs> going right now on the video because uh, I mean in the apartment because I wasn't thinking about it like, oh, you guys can't see. I was just thinking about it like, let me record um, for myself to see um, how good my skills are. Cause I feel like I've been doing some renovations and they've been really, really nice, but I didn't record them, I can't share them. And I'm really bad, oops, sorry. And I'm really bad at um, screenshots and you know, trying to record in tab mode. Look, y'all gonna see it in this video. Uh, I'm trying so hard to practice. So why, why did I stop right here? Oh, okay. I stopped throughout the video several times. So um, I'm going to get into what I'm doing right now, um, but this video is super, super long. So I'm giving a little bit of backstory about everything I'm doing before I actually pay attention to the renovation. Everything that I'm doing right now, the way that I'm building, I really didn't have a plan of how I wanted it to look. Um, I just know I wanted to use platform and um, I knew what kind of sim is living here. So the sim that's living here is actually one of Spring Sims sims <laughs> that i downloaded from the gallery look does anybody have trouble with this dream home decorator couch look at me i was really struggling i was like i don't know how to do this i don't know how to use this and then i was thinking about it like okay this is a small apartment is she gonna really be uh you know is she going to have enough people for her to need this big old couch so you know i downgraded it a little bit anyways um yeah it's one of spring sims sims uh her name is phoenix and she uh was made i believe around the dream home decorator uh release so i had downloaded her uh so she was supposed to be just an extra sim because i thought she was pretty uh, but now I put her in the save file with my dream home decorator LP. So she's kind of like the um, the old uh, the old decorator <laughs> for all of Sam Machino and all that. But um, she's kind of trying to get out of the business. So that's why Jerrica has taken over. Um, so she's not really her rival, but she's just like the other home decorator that uh exists in this save file so i don't plan to actually have her do any renovations because again this is jerica's save file and i made this save file for jerica um but uh she is in the career and i think i cheated up her um her her level or her her position what am i saying i don't even know what i'm saying anyway <laughs> so this was before I actually gave her a little bit of a makeover. I, I put her in some CC and all that. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, let's get into the build now because I have been really, really rapping. So, uh, I'm in the kitchen now, I guess. Yes. I'm in the kitchen just trying to make things fit. Uh, this kitchen is going to change a lot because I wasn't really sure how I wanted it to, how I wanted it to go because, again, I didn't have a floor plan in mind. I just knew I wanted, again, the platforms and I knew what kind of sim was gonna be there. So I'd already put that room to the right there as the bathroom. And I said, okay, we gotta put the kitchen somewhere. And I felt like this is gonna be the best space. So I'm just putting up the cabinets. Uh, so again, this this is going to change a lot. Uh, in the apartments, I, I've been doing a lot of this 
kind of entryway situation, uh, especially in this particular apartment because of those, uh, the fuse box and all that stuff. I just feel like you just need an entryway before you come into this apartment. So this is one of the worst, you know, this is one of the fixer uppers, but it's because of the balcony that I wanted it, wanted to use it, or I like to use this apartment rather. I have a few other uh, Sims other save files okay I'm getting off track <laughs> adding her bike there that ended up going into her um, inventory anyway uh, that room up there to the right is going to be the laundry room we're not there yet but we're, we're not there yet let's just uh it's my first time guys I don't know how to do this I'm just trying I just know I have a whole lot to <laughs> record in this time so I'm fixing up the couches again just trying to make sure I can fit things okay now I'm like hey wouldn't you like to put some lights <laughs> so I've put some lights out in uh, pretty much the whole build so you guys can see kind of the floor plan now so uh, I do move the camera around a lot so that I can see the space what I want to add what I want to subtract so I was trying to figure out how to maximize the space in the kitchen a bit more um, move that I didn't like where the fridge was and everything I wanted it to be a little bit bigger uh, but at the same time kind of be a little enclosed um, everything can't be an open floor plan you know so half walls I'm learning how to use half walls a little bit better so again you're gonna see this change this area change a few times before I actually get to what is gonna look good so I didn't like that that wall was kind of too tall so I went to the half walls and just ended it out right there put the fridge yes there we go got us um, you know position things the right way to make sure they're going to look symmetrical and all so I'm, I was thinking of other things to put in here so I love this dream home decorator desk I made sure I put that in that little area uh, as well as a chair uh, I, I use a lot of uh, build mode CC uh, peacemaker 6am uh, who else do I use uh, my Shuno son. Oh my God, my Shuno son. I love you so much. Thank you. Uh, don't mind me about this bed. So I have the ravishing beds, but for some reason I didn't have the base frame for this particular bed. So I came back to put it in later, but for now the bed is just kind of floating. So just forgive me. I didn't know how to use the tool mod before I did this build, but I did learn it afterwards. So I get rid of those mouse holes and all. So here I am in the bathroom, just trying to find something that's not too childish, but also a little bit colorful. Cause I believe Phoenix does like uh, colors. Um, she likes colors, she likes colorful things. I believe her favorite color is blue. She just doesn't like things to be too bright and too busy. So you'll see um, a print here and there, but she's very much a Sim that would like to wear just you know plain colors neat uh, that type of sim so I look looking for as many blue items of course as I can that will kind of go with the whole vibe of this build I end up going with this one with uh, from peacemakers I believe uh, yeah peacemakers love 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 their CC so the bedroom is just kind of, I don't know why I wanted to make it a platform. I just really wanted a platform. I'm trying my best to just use different things um, that I don't normally use. And just trying to make things look a little bit different. I've been watching a lot of different build videos on YouTube just to try to figure out different ways that I could maximize and perfect my build skills. Because I really look up to a lot of... Um, content creators on YouTube that do great builds so um, moving right along I really hate that you can't place uh, what is it fences yeah fences the way you want to because like why why can't I put that where I want it so since I couldn't put it where I want it wanted it uh, I had to figure out what else could I put and I thought of dividers 
and I got these ones from the spa day collection and just said let me just add these two they'll just be like little borders so pretty much every decision that I was making I was just thinking what would Phoenix do as an interior designer when something doesn't fit or uh, there's a space open that you don't like you know you maximize the space and try to put things as cute as you want so uh, again I don't have a set way of like first I work on the bedroom and then I work on this room I pretty much go through first of all all of my items all of my CC and then the items that I think the sim would want or need in their um, home so a lot of the uh, yeah a lot of the decisions that I'm making I'm just thinking okay what would Phoenix do <laughs> what would Phoenix do what would Phoenix like so I go again with uh, Peacemaker's, uh, what is it called? Wallpaper <laughs> for both the interior of the apartment and the bathroom, uh, some tiles by them and then some, um, I don't know what to call that. <laughs> and then I use the, I'm about to say Mount Kobarabi, <laughs> uh, the Snowy Escape tiles for the kitchen. So I forgot this, the creator's name for this um, wall set, but I believe it's called Madam Butterfly. Oh my goodness. A lot of really, really nice swatches. Uh, they're just like murals. So um, I added that inside of the bedroom. I felt like that would give a nice little touch to this little platform room. I mean, granted, I could have just put a room right there without it having the stairs and the platform but I just wanted again to look a little bit different so I've got the tile in the kitchen a tile in the bathroom I started thinking about what kind of carpet I tried to look at the 6am uh, new carpet but I felt like it didn't really match it didn't go it was too busy so I switched it with another peacemakers I love peacemakers uh, I have a lot of their CC build CC uh, I changed the bed swatch as well again phoenix's color is gonna be blue and the funny thing about this is i did this apartment read on before i even did her makeover so that was before i chose her outfits and chose blue as her signature color i just ended up doing that as i was building just thinking about what kind of sim um, i wanted her to be so moving out into the balcony if you can't tell i did make it a little bit bigger so I felt like, uh, you know, she would want to use that space to uh, work on her wellness. I feel like Phoenix is also a sim that would work on her wellness. She does yoga. You see the yoga mat there. I end up moving it outside because I just felt like uh, behind the couch, it's just kind of so... Uh, she, she, could, she would maximize her space better than that. <laughs> so... Um, again, putting things as I see them, um, or like, oh, I feel like she would need this in her room. Maybe it's cold in that room because it's a platform. Uh, putting that light in that open space just to have something in that little corner. I felt like maybe she's going to be a streamer. Uh, so I started putting all of these streamer items and the robot vacuum. I just love that thing. Um, oh, yeah. So <laughs> LOL. This is the moment that I thought I was going to try to save uh, this apartment so I could upload it to the gallery so I started deleting walls and um, then I was as I was doing it I thought about it like wait a minute there's why are all of my devices just being so rude uh, I was like wait a minute there's so much CC in this like they're just gonna have bare they're just gonna have a bare um, build I was like, that's pointless. So I just stopped um, and went back to putting things up. So again, uh, just using CC for a streamer, uh, putting that in her little desk area, uh, adding some things in the front hallway. I had to move stuff around here a lot. I wanted the laundry room also to be right there next to it. So again, <laughs> oh my God. So again, this is when I was realizing like there's too much CC in this build. Why am I even gonna try to uh, put it up on the gallery? So I had to redo all of that stuff, but it's all good. Um, you know, uh, this is the learning process that I'm going through, um, trying to figure out how to do this uh, Sims YouTube thing. So 
so just adding the uh, I think that's from the bowling pack I love that wall but I have that in the little open um, entryway and also where the washer and dryer is so just adding some little plants uh, I will still add more plants later I add more plants more clutter um, other things for this build later but uh, what I see is what I can all, all that I remember for right now I'm just re-watching this for the first time well at least all together after editing <laughs> so uh, where am I yeah got got the yeah so adding plants now I do love adding plants so of course I'm going for everything that's light blue or everything that looks white or flowery um, a little bit of gray here a little bit of blacks here and I'm just things that are not too um, loud so I put a lot I really like this outdoor space I thought about it um, again just move the yoga mat just feeling like why would she want to do yoga behind her couch when she has this beautiful balcony uh, that she could, you know, dress up and, you know, have a be a really relaxing Zen space. And I do like to try my best to get most Sims some type of workout equipment inside of their home, their living space. Uh, and with all of the people in the apartments that have been complaining when sims use uh workout equipment i figured it would be better to probably put it outside so um as you can see i am putting uh lots of greenery lots of plants uh things from eco lifestyle things from uh some cc packs that i have and there i am putting the punching bag like i said outside so that we don't have any sims complaining i do put a soccer ball as well um, I was trying to find this swing by 6 a.m. and literally it is by 6 a.m. and I do have it but for some reason I just could not find it I was looking for it for like forever and I still didn't find it I still haven't put it in this build actually but I will <laughs> probably after um, I record finish recording this so here I am putting some furniture I'm using 6 a.m.'s pack packs um, they have the dreamy outdoor pack so um, I'm picking up a lot of those items to put outside in this beautiful beautiful space and honestly I really love this space I think it's so zen it's so comfy um, a great space to really kind of wind down so uh, as I'm going through that I'm remembering other things that I could use in her apartment so um, that's what you see me trying to do now, trying to find space for other things, other clutter items that I know I want to use, just putting those on the desk so, uh, on the desk, on the table so I don't have to come back for them. Uh, toilet paper roll, <laughs> those waters, oh my gosh. The 6am, I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna turn you all into a CC addict like me, but 6am has some amazing build mode items everyday um, fancy stuff I mean I wanted to put these paintings and stuff outside but I was like okay I'm doing too much uh, or do I leave that painting there I actually don't remember I think I, I I don't think I leave it there I think it's too much for for that area <laughs> um no I, I think I leave it there no I don't <laughs> oh my gosh uh, this is this is really this is a bit awkward so again, putting some more uh, 6 a.m. things out in the balcony area, trying to get these chairs. I thought maybe that uh, table might be something that they could sit at, like a dining table, but it isn't. Oh, no problem. I just decided to go ahead and put a little speaker out there, like, you know, people will come out and sit and talk and maybe she will sit out on that little lounge area and just look out onto the city um, at some time now here is the point where I'm trying to find the I don't know why it's so hard for me to find the city living brick I will have it right in my grasp and I will say okay this is the name of it and then I will like click away to something else and then I can't find it again so here I am struggling to find this matching brick I don't know why I didn't just use the freaking 
dropper. But eventually, I remember, I was probably high. Uh, eventually, I do that and get the right brick so that it can match the outside. Because I do want it to be kind of like it, it goes along with the entire building. It's just, um, you know, bigger and not as uh, common as everything else. So this box of kindness, I know it doesn't, pro I don't think it works or you can probably still put the trait on a sim through um, MC Command Center, but I just like the way it looks. So that's why it's there. <laughs> uh, of course, we gotta have the washer and dryer. So we've gotta put our hamper. Again, getting other little items, a uh, drink tray. Um, I thought about for a second if I wanted this to be a sim that was gonna smoke and then I, I changed my mind quickly. Uh, just putting some personal items, if you know what I'm saying. Um, just, uh, I think I put those swatches from the Dream Home Decorator. I have the debug and the live edit, so I'm trying my best to put all those little extra details around so it looks good. I'm adding these little drinks. I love these drinks. I think they're so cute. There's one with the, um, the crate thing and then one without, and it's just the bottles. Um, fixing the paint here again from me trying to upload to the gallery unsuccessfully <laughs> um, and now I'm stalling I think I'm looking around trying to figure out what else I want to do what else I want to add uh, what other activities and skills oh I forgot the washer and dryer there's my black widow outside her renovation is uh, next actually uh, because she lives next door to Phoenix. So Phoenix will make appearances here and there in the Black Widow. So um, I can tell this is just about the end of the video. Uh, because I'm putting up just uh, clutter items and my last minute things to make the space come together. I really wanted that outside space. Outside space. This what is it called mm. entryway <laughs> i wanted this entryway just to you know look real i wanted the laundry room here to look real i wanted it to look like okay yeah i go in here to do my laundry and you know adding these uh little plants plant thingies from eco lifestyle which i adore other little again knickknacks just things to make it look lived in I put some shoes up at the front and uh, other clutter items. Looks like a blanket. I don't know why I keep stalling for some reason. I, I think I keep getting distracted probably when I was doing this. Um, yeah, some more magazines from the Dream Home Decorator. Um, some more laundry items, cleaning items. You know, all these things, they don't, they're not, you can't use them, but it makes it look lived in. So, that's what we do. Um, I end up changing the color of that rug to the one that has red in it because I put red, um, what are they called? Pillows <laughs> on the couch. Um, but that's probably off camera. I'm sure I didn't do it here. Because I came back later like, wait a minute, I should probably change this. So just adding some more little items, uh, magazines and books and clothes i do like the dream home decorator pack um i just wish they would fix the career like it's so broken guys okay so this is the end of the video <laughs> i tried to do the little tab mode situation so that you all could see the whole entire bill but as you can see i am not good at this at all just please take this as practice round one as I go back into build mode and find more items to put. <laughs> I really thought I was done. I guess not. But I am I know it's, it's about to end, y'all. I'm so sorry. I'm trying to be professional, but I don't think this is going to be a professional channel. I'm so sorry. This is not a professional channel. <laughs> Thank y'all so much um, for joining me for this video. See you later. Bye-bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.